In vaccination, a substance called a vaccine is introduced into the body. The body responds by developing antibodies, just as in the case of an actual infectious disease. Unlike the disease, however, a vaccine does not endanger life. Although the science behind vaccinations hasn't changed much since the 1950s, we have come a long way in how vaccines are developed and regulated. To ensure that every vaccine is both safe and effective, researchers must follow a series of steps to achieve approval from the Food and Drug Administration. This journey starts in a laboratory, where researchers work to develop a treatment that provides immunity to an infectious disease. Once the trial vaccine has been shown to be effective in lab animals, the FDA allows researchers to move on to human trials. This follows a three-phase process. In phase one, between 20 and 100 healthy adult volunteers receive the trial vaccination at different dosages. At this point, scientists are most concerned for the well-being of the volunteers. Once the vaccine creates the desired immune response and is shown to be non-toxic, researchers are ready to move on to a larger study. In phase two, the number of volunteers is increased to several hundred people. Researchers are again interested in the safety and efficacy of the vaccine, while also keeping an eye out for any side effects that may occur. If positive results continue, more subjects are brought in. Phase three trials test thousands of volunteers in real world conditions. The vaccine must produce the desired immune response while remaining non-toxic in real life scenarios before being submitted to the FDA for approval. The FDA will then review the results from all three phases. If the research indicates that the vaccine is safe, effective, and the benefits outweigh any risks, the FDA will approve the vaccine. The vaccine then enters the manufacturing process, where new batches are regularly tested. If all goes well, the vaccine will be released to the general public. Afterwards, many vaccines undergo a phase four trial, where the long-term risks and benefits are studied in real-life scenarios. If these studies reveal any safety concerns, the vaccine may be withdrawn from the market. 